Hey guys, uh, I'm pretty upset right now um, because my body just hates me. I'm like in my early 20s and I already have so many problems. Let's start from yesterday, all right? So yesterday, I went to the doctor, had my first appointment since January, so it's been around nine months. Honestly, I should have had an appointment earlier, but I was going through a lot of stuff and I had a string of bad doctors, and so that's part of the reason why. A lot of doctors that were unresponsive and didn't really care. Luckily, my mom made an appointment for me. I was going to make one, but she made an appointment for me with a doctor that she goes to, that she trusts. So that appointment happened yesterday. I went to the doctor, she was awesome. She was like this Filipino mom. She really asked me a lot of questions about the pains I was having. First thing I told her about was my neck because that's like the main thing. Recently, I've been having neck pain to the point where I actually feel a headache. I'm in my early 20s. Like, I shouldn't be having neck pain like this, but I do. And I'm scared because um, I'm not trying to have like headaches for the rest of my life. It's not like something I can just ignore, right? And so I told her like, yeah, like it started in maybe the beginning of the year. I was playing basketball with this group of guys. We were playing fives and he was running down the court and I was trying to defend him, but he was a bigger guy. And he like kind of accidentally slammed in my shoulder and I heard a crack. I don't think anyone else heard it, but I heard a crack and I felt my whole like right side go numb for like a good 30 seconds. And then I shrugged it off and I kept playing, which I probably should not have done. But uh, that's that's honestly sometimes like when shit like that happens, it's like so shocking that you're just like, huh, maybe it's, you know, maybe I'm making a big deal out of it. You don't really feel anything. So you're just like, oh, it's probably okay. Does that make sense? I digress. That's what started it. And then I think uh, it got worse with like added stress of like relationship and other things in my life. And so, um, yeah, now it just feels like there's like a pinched nerve in the back of my neck. And I feel like I need to roll it around, like roll my head around like often. So that was that. The second thing that happened was my knee. So about three months ago, so this was a more recent injury. I was training for a half Ironman with a friend and we went on a 10 mile run. And I shouldn't have gone on this 10 mile run because just the nature of when I'm with this friend, like I kind of like want to push myself. And so, uh, yeah, I pushed myself too hard with not a lot of training at that point. Um, I was only running maybe like once or twice a week and definitely not 10 milers. And I pushed myself very hard the whole time until I couldn't, around mile eight, I felt something weird. Like I felt like I couldn't breathe properly. I was kind of hyperventilating, so I stopped running and I just kind of walked the rest of the way or I was planning on jogging, but I ended up walking because my knee started feeling weird. I didn't really think much of it. Stuff like that has happened to me before and I kind of just like walk it off and usually it's fine the next day. But this one did not go away. Like it, it, it kept hurting. And what it felt like was, it felt like my, like something was being pinched. Like a, again, a nerve was being pinched. I stopped running for like a month and then I tried running again. And within a minute, I felt the same exact pain, like the same exact pinched nerve. And it doesn't happen when I'm walking. It only happens when I'm running or like putting like a lot of downward pressure. That's what I told the doctor. I basically recaptured all of this and she told me, okay, uh, I'm gonna set you up for two x-rays, one for your knee, one for your neck, we'll, we'll go from there. And so she told me to make an appointment and I did. And I, was, actually I didn't have to make an appointment, I just walked in and that was today, right? But before today, I had a boxing class. I signed up for a boxing class recently. I thought nothing should affect my boxing, right? Like I, I've been going to the gym like pretty consistently for the past two weeks, had pretty much no problems. I put on my wraps, put on my gloves. I started shadow boxing, everything was fine. But then once I went to the bag, the punching bag, right? Everything went to shit. All of a sudden, I go for a, a, a left hook and my rotator cuff on my left hook feels horrible. Pain is so bad, it hurts to just lift it at a certain point, to lift my left shoulder. And I'm just like, dude, this isn't even my right shoulder. And so I'm like 
going through this whole boxing class, my first one, and I look like a chump, right? I, I still remember all of the, the boxing moves. I was part of the boxing team um, at UC Irvine in 2019 before the pandemic hit. Funny enough, I actually, uh, I actually had to quit the boxing team, not because of the pandemic in 2020, but because I broke my collarbone skateboarding. So this was my first boxing class in years. Um, and I was super excited for it, only to find out that I have another problem with my left rotator cuff. I have a punching bag at home. I swear I've hit it like a few times since I've been back in Sacramento, uh, like just a few weeks from today, and I, I was fine. So I was very confused, uh, and I went the rest of that workout kind of like half assing it because I literally could not punch, I could not do a left hook. And a lot of the combos required the hooks, so I was just, I just looked like a chunk. Um, I'm back home now, so I can chill a bit. But, um, yeah, so I'm just like, dude, why does this stuff keep happening to me? And I, I went to the, uh, I went to the imaging center to get the x-rays done after that and they did my x-rays and everything came back to the car and i started to record this because yeah this sucks <laughs> it sucks i feel like this always happens like at the worst times like the the knee issue before the half iron man right and um you know the broken collarbone in the middle of my boxing when i was in high school like my pelvic I don't even know what you call it, but it's like the rotator cuff, but for your pelvis. Um, your hip flexor, I think that's what it's called. My hip flexor um, had issues my senior year when I was running varsity for cross country, my first time running a varsity. And I trained the whole summer for a great season and my first race, hip flexor issue. And it pretty much just took me out the rest of the season. Like I couldn't run hard with, with, the, uh, with the hip flexor issue. And uh, now I'm getting back into boxing and even with my current injuries, I should be fine to box, you know, as long as I like take it easy on um, any running drills or I take it easy to not like put too much like pressure on my, on my, on my shoulder, on my right shoulder. But aside from that, like I'm not sparring or doing anything crazy. I'm just doing it to get a workout, to get some cardio in. And first thing that happens, I can't do a, I can't do a left hook. I can't do a left hook. I can't lift my lift my left arm without my rotator cuff feeling like it's gonna like pop off. 